Hi there. So much focus in recent days on bond yields. So I thought I'd do a quick short on which major economies have the highest bond yields in the world. So a bond yield is effectively the amount of money that an investor that's bought a government-issued bond, uh, how much money they get from owning the debt as a percentage of the current price. So uh, once a year, typically, sometimes twice a year, whoever holds a bond will receive interest. You then divide the interest by the market price of the bond, and that gives you effectively a measure of the yield or the return on a bond. Now, when the price of a bond goes down, the yield goes up, and that effectively means that it costs the government more money when it needs to go to the capital markets, to the bond markets, to raise fresh debt, sell extra bonds in the weeks and months ahead. So the yield on a bond is basically the cost of borrowing for the government. Only a bond is not risk-free, although obviously with governments they have the power to tax. So in theory they should be able to repay debt that they've issued. The three main risks from owning bonds are, first of all, the inflation risk, you see, if you buy a 10-year bond, you'll get the money back in 10 years' time when the bond matures. But over that period, the cost of living, the general price level, will have gone up. So in real terms, uh, inflation, it brings down or erodes the value of those bonds when they're repaid. A second important risk, we've seen this in recent weeks, is currency risk. So you might be holding bonds denominated in a certain currency. Uh, perhaps you've uh, changed your currency into that country's currency to buy the bonds. If the currency then depreciates, loses value, that can make your bond worth less to you. And thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, there's a default risk. There is a risk that a government is unable to repay some or all of the debt that it's issued and might ask or might request that the bond investors take a haircut, take a take a, a, a shave of the profits they make. So this chart, really interesting, shows the yield on 10-year government bonds in the biggest economies worldwide. Uh, this was the middle of September 2022. And in that time period, it was Nigeria that had the highest bond yield of 12.8%, so effectively just under 13%. High bond yields, Nigeria, Brazil, Turkey, all, all over uh, 10%, Russia, Mexico, not too far behind. Well, with Nigeria, for example, a country with high inflation, a country with a volatile currency, the profits that you might make by buying Nigerian government bonds might be uh, literally eradicated, taken away by um, a fall in the currency or high inflation, or perhaps even a default risk from the Nigerian government. In contrast, Countries such as Norway and Canada and the United States, they can borrow more cheaply for 10 years at just over 3%. So what about the UK? Well, this is the data for August showing the yield on the different bonds from six months to two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. That's a long dated security. And typically what normally happens is that the longer you borrow for, the higher is the rate of interest. And that was certainly the case in August. However, if you look at September's data, this is the 29th of September, I think, just before the end of the month. You can see that bond yields have gone up in the UK. So the 10-year yield at the end of last week was trading at just over 4%. But all of, the, all of the yields have gone up as the markets are worried about the government's ability to fund uh, sustainably some of the tax cuts and increased spending they have announced in the mini budget. So the UK government is now spending more, paying more interest on the debt that it issues. There we go, hopefully a useful little comparison there. We've, our debt interest is in a three, four percent, much higher than it's been in recent times, but still a long way below countries such as Nigeria. Take care, see you soon.